As a network operator, it is easier than you think to start selling eSIM. Here's how you can connect new subscribers of the next generation SIM to your network in four easy steps. To allow users to connect their eSIM devices to your network, you'll need an eSIM platform and live profiles for remote SIM provisioning. Going live is a short four-step process. Step 1. Choose your eSIM platform. With Works, you can take advantage of the first GSMA-certified eSIM platform hosted in the cloud, which means you can just plug and play right away without any integration required. Step 2. Test Profile Generation To create live profile, all you need are your input files, network authentication keys, and electrical profile, just the same as you would for your normal SIMs. With these files, your eSIM provider will begin profile testing and development, generating the output files, eSIM profiles, and QR codes for user activation. Step 3. User Acceptance You will receive the test profiles and QR codes to test and approve on your network and devices. And Step 4. We have Liftoff. Go live! Once the test profiles have been approved, your eSIM provider will then release live profiles and supporting activation codes so you can allow users to connect their eSIM devices to your network. And that's it. Now you're selling eSIM subscriptions for your network. Going live using your existing subscriber registration process and a QR code-based activation mechanism can literally take only a couple of weeks and is the fastest route to market. If you'd like to add further activation options for subscribers directly into your own app or use Apple Lookup Service, this can all be done with enhanced integration as a Phase 2 implementation. To learn more, go to works.com or email hello at works.com for further information.